Hey guys, this is Lord Fallon's Crafty Creations, and I am here to share with you a mini album that I created. I have already shared the album on the Scrapbookers of Country Craft Creations uh, Facebook page um, because I did use the Doodlebug Cream and Sugar collection that I bought from Tamara's shop, and I am in love with this collection. A lot of people have already asked me if there's a tutorial available for this one, and I'm sorry there is not. I purchased the tutorial to create this album um, from paperphenomenon.com and uh, Kathy King and this one actually I used three different bonus projects out of her kit club to make this project and so I understand that some of those aren't even available yet for people to purchase I have access to them because I am in her kit club right now so um, I used, for those of you who are in her kit club, I used volume one, which was in a previous kit club. And then I also used the pages from volume two and three uh, in this album. And oh my gosh, can you see just how chunky and big this thing is? It really is huge. And I'm not done putting pictures in it yet. I really just went overboard. So anyway, let's get started. So what I did on the front here, this is um, what I purchased from uh, countrycraftcreations.com was two packages of the paper that came with the sticker sheet as well as the ephemera pack and then I also bought these adorable clips that has the coffee cups and the donuts and what else did I get? It seems like I bought something else. Oh, I bought the doodle pops, the little stickers that um, they're called doodle pops that go with the collection and I'll show you those as we come upon them in the album so you can see what they look like so this is the first album ever that I have actually put pictures in guys I know I've made a million albums and it's really awful that I haven't put pictures in any of them but you're gonna get to see pictures in this one and I'm super excited about it because now that I put pictures in an album it really gives me a different kind of perspective on how to create albums going forward you know so anyway you'll find out more about that later but again back to the cover sorry I've get, gotten distracted so what I did here is I backed all of my pieces of ephemera all my stickers everything on this black cardstock and cut it out because I like the way it looks it just really makes the items pop so this is a sticker from the collection these are ephemera pieces that I just layered on here and then these as well and then there is design paper here and then just plain uh, pink cardstock on the back. This is design paper as well. And I inked around the edges of this with vintage photo. I almost forgot. So I loved this picture of my daughter right here because she's wearing a donut shirt, of course, and I thought it was awesome. So here is the spine. At first, I just covered the spine in the pattern paper that came with the collection, which I love that pattern, but I just felt like it was missing something and I really wanted to girl it up. So I took this elastic trim black lace and just put it all on the spine, and I really like how it came out. Came out and here is the back this is just the the cut apart sheet of course and um, just so cute and then I did a ribbon tie closure because this thing is so huge so let's get inside I did a lot of glitter treatment in here I just really got carried away so inside here I have I used um, Martha Stewart obsidian glitter it's the really fine glitter and of course this is score tape and then this is a pocket and I just stuck some pieces that I had left from the collection I stuck some some pieces of ephemera I had left on these cards and they're just blank on the back so I just stuck them in this pocket really cute like journaling cards and then you open this up there's a place for a photo here, which I haven't placed one there yet. And then there's a smaller pocket and then just a four by four photo here. And I'm really excited to show you a picture with photos as too, so you can see how you can do different sizes, which really surprised me because I thought, you know, I'm not gonna really wanna crop my photos, but I really love how it turned out because I think mean, she's just the focal point there and without having all of the other noise in the background. 
So and then there's the back. I just covered it with pattern paper. And then this closes. I have held this envelope closed with one of those little cute paper clips and it just opens up this way and then it folds open. I don't have any photo mats in here yet. This is actually glued down. It's a piece of ephemera and then this is all ephemera from the collection. I just glued this cookies and milk down together and I stuck this little card in there for journaling. So how, how thick this is and I still have lots of room to put things. That I just left blank just because the paper is cute. This is just a 4x4 cut apart. And then I know you can stick something in between here, but I didn't like how it looked. So I just like to have it plain just to focus on that cut apart and then my photo on the other side. So I just use this album to put just my favorite random pictures of my daughter and me in it. Here I've um, put like a little, some little sayings at the bottom. I've decorated it up, decorated them up a bit. Um, on this side, again, I have another one of those cute paper clips just sticking right here. This was a sticker from the collection, and then these little things are the Doodle Pops. So if you can see, they are kind of popped up right there. So, and then in here, I like how her eyes kind of poke out right here. So this is um, another photo, and then I just put, again, another cute strip at the bottom, and then there's a cut apart at the back. On the other page, this is a sticker from the collection. Again, here's one of those donut paper clips that is just so cute. And then another photo mat. This one says, you're sweet. And then if you've turned it over, it says, do not worry, or do not worry, be happy, donut speak. Okay, so on this side, there is a four by six cut apart, which I thought was just really cute. Sometimes I just like to enjoy the paper, you know? So, um, and then flip it over and you just have these like a million places for photos. So this one I put I love you at the back and then I really loved using these chit chat stickers. This one says my sugar and I just stuck them in random places. This one says adorable and then this is a piece of ephemera that I glued down here and then this one opens this way. Again this one says sweet cakes. I left this one alone and then there's that photo. This is a piece of ephemera. And then again on this photo mat, I have, I put this love you la a latte and then this is one of those doodle pops that I purchased that went with the collection. I thought that was really cute. And then there's the back, just another cut apart. So this closes like this. And then on this side, uh oh. Again, another little paper clip that's stuck here, and then a piece of ephemera, and then we have these smaller um, photo mats, and then just some details. I got this one on Crooked. Just some details at the bottom that just make it just really cute. And then again, a four by four, and then another picture. Here, this page, um, this cut apart already had these teacups on it, but I had these doodle pops. You can see they're kind of popped up a little bit. Um, so I stuck them where the teacups were and then put these little sugar cubes here and this tea bag. And of course it says you're my cup of tea. This flips down. It's actually a pocket, but I don't have anything in it right now. And then again, just a picture of me and my daughter. It says you and me. And then it flips up as well. I don't have anything at the top, but then I have this photo here in the middle and then I, I haven't put anything here at the bottom yet but just really cute and you can close it like this or like this either way turn that over and then you have this side pocket here this is a sticker from the collection here is another photo and then a ephemera card on the back again this is a sticker that's popped up on black cardstock it just says you warm my heart and then this one says, hey cutie, and then forever sweet. And this one says love. Again, I did the glitter treatment on the pocket and the acetate pocket here. And I cut apart on this photo mat. And then I did a picture and then just some detail at the bottom. 
I loved decorating my photo mats. Here I just put your My Cup of Tea and then just a large space for a photo that I backed on the yellow cardstock. This is like a wallet and it has a magnet so it opens up here and then I have two smaller uh, three by four photos in here. That's just me holding my daughter's hand and her sleeping. And then I just did the paper on the back of them. And then this is um, a sticker and a piece of ephemera that I backed on cardstock. This is um, the decorative acetate. And then again, just room for photos. So cute. I really, really love the way it turned out. I think that I'm going to come back in and decorate some, but I want to get all my photos in it first to see how chunky it becomes. Again, a 3x4 right here and a 4x4 here just to give you an idea that you can have those smaller photos in your albums and they will look good, you know? And this whole thing just flips over. And then here I just had fun layering some of those um, pieces of ephemera right there on the back instead of putting a photo. Again, another 4x4 cut apart and then I have a little paper clip with a donut on that side and then a photo here. This is a sticker from the collection and then again a photo mat with a silly photo that I couldn't get them all looking at me and um, and then I have a place to put another photo right there. Again, just pieces of ephemera and these donuts are actually like they're the doodle pops. Turn it over, another piece of ephemera here, a pocket with another photo mat and then um, just paper on the back where you could place another photo if you want. A 4x6 here and it just opens and then I just put again the cute stickers and this folds out this way and then this way and then here I still have um, some photo mats in here and places to put photos. This one says hello and then just a card on the back and then I put a little piece of ephemera right there. So this really holds just so many photos. I don't even know how many I printed. This is me and my daughter again and just some detail at the bottom. I think I may put like a little decorative thing there and then um, another room for another photo again. And then here um, just pieces of ephemera. This um, is what Kathy calls her pleated pocket and it's really cute. It just opens up like this. It's, just, it's not even magnetized or anything. I did lots of glitter treatment on it and it will hold lots of stuff but I have nothing in it right now. So this opens this way. Again, a 4x6 cut apart. Open it up. Room for more photos. Another photo mat. And then I have pieces of ephemera here. Another pocket. And then another photo mat with a 4x6 cut apart and then a photo of course and turn it over there was a place oh it's over here so then I have um, this side pocket here and again just a photo mount that I haven't decorated just yet I'm waiting on some more of my photos to come in and then another acetate pocket with room for two more um, four by four. So this is what I did. I took these little cut aparts and I cut them down to size and I put an eighth of an inch strip of adhesive on the bottom so when I get my photo in I can cut it down and put it, tuck it behind there. This just go. And there is a pocket right here I don't have anything in just yet. And oh there's also a pocket right there. So I have two pockets I don't have anything in yet and so this is another large space that I'll put a photo in. Right here there's another piece of ephemera and this is magnetized and actually I stuck this heavier duty magnet here because the magnets right here is not very strong so I had this one extra with no mate so I just stuck it there. Um, again room for a photo and then this flips open. I've decorated some of the bottom here to get it ready for photos and it closes like this and then you could decorate or do a photo on the back of this again another envelope with one of my donut paper clips and then on the inside I just have a photo mat with a sticker on it and then um, 4 by 4 photo mats and there is that cute donut paper and it just closes like this 
and we're towards the end. Here's the last space, another pocket with just um, just an ephemera card in the back. And then you could put a large photo here and or a four by six and then more photo mats in there. So there's just really a ton, a ton. This is an eight by six album and um, I don't know my spine is like three some odd inches. I don't have my ruler in here to measure it, but it's it's really large because I just went crazy. Hold on, I'll tell you. Let's see. One, two, and a half. It's at least two and a half inches. No, because my gussets are five eighths of an inch, so it's even more than that, so never mind. Thought I could count for you guys real quick, but that didn't work. So there is my album using the Doodlebug Cream and Sugar Collection. It is so adorable. If you love this collection, go to countrycraftcreations.com and and purchase it because you won't be disappointed. Um, it's just really fun to work with. A great um, collection for kids and little girls especially. So thank you for watching and I hope you like it. See you next time.